You're with cleanenergy.org. We're talking with Ed Subco of Green Earth Services as he discusses the installation process for a solar thermal hot water system at the Smith Family Home in East Tennessee. Uh, today we're installing a solar thermal hot water system which consists of uh, two collectors on the roof and an 80 gallon solar storage tank here in the basement. It's about a two-day job to install the entire system. There's two collectors on the roof which um, they're approximately four feet by eight feet and there's an inlet on one side of one of them and an outlet on the other side of the other one so as fluid uh, comes into the collectors it runs through serpentine piping picking up heat going into the next collector picking up even more heat and is um, circulated into a heat exchanger in the bottom of the solar storage tank where you know it releases the heat and then goes back for more and that process occurs all day long as long as the uh, collector temperature is warmer than the tank temperature. And in the evening as the uh, collectors cool um, and that temperature gets equal, the uh, pump will shut off and um, wait till the next day to start up again. Typically the, the collectors will get the tank somewhere in the neighborhood of 130 to maybe 160 degrees Fahrenheit um, during the day and uh, as the smiths or whoever uses the water draws it off, um, it cools the tank and um, uh, basically this is a two tank system where the solar storage tank feeds an existing hot water tank that still has the elements connected. So on days when uh, perhaps the solar storage tank is only able to get to 80 degrees or whatever, the existing tank uh, will either, either gas or electric will fire bringing the hot water, bringing the water up to 120 degrees for, for domestic use. So um, you know in most cases the thermal collectors will get the water plenty warm enough uh, so that the um, existing tank does not need to heat the water. It will just be a pass-through tank. Well, this is a, a very underutilized technology. They, they last a very, very long time with almost no maintenance. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, national statistics here in the United States are that uh, 15 to 25 percent of all the energy a home uses goes to heating hot water and keeping it hot all day. So, so in this house there's uh, uh, two adults and a toddler and I expect that uh, they would probably uh, uh, have this system paid for through the efficiency in four or five years. Uh, this is equity. When you put a system like this on your home and sell your home, that's like you know, uh, I mean, who wouldn't want uh, your electricity or ut your utility bills paid as long as you own the home? It's mm -hmm. a no-brainer.